Hey, how's it going out there in open mic land? We are Saturday the 30th. Uh, lots of crazy things going on in the world. Uh, should I never even plug yours in? No, we're all good. I'll be quick uh, about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. A uh, lot going on in the world. And uh, honestly, when we first started do doing this today, I told uh, Johnny walked in. Johnny's been stuck out in the middle of nowhere for the past couple of days because he lives out in the boonies. And, uh, and as I posted on Facebook the other day that uh, he's been rained out, hadn't been able to make it. Um, I love the woods though. Hell yeah. yeah. Beautiful spot. Uh, yeah. But, the you know, video. he's out in the middle of nowhere and uh, and with, with that said, he doesn't have cable and he doesn't have internet. He doesn't have electricity, no nothing. Yeah, so, uh, so all these things that are going on in the world, he didn't know about. So when he came in today, I told him, well... I mean, I got the phone and sometimes I look it up, you know what I mean? Right. I, I, I might see what's going on, but I, I'm not all that interested is to be like searching and going and all that on the phone all day long i'm out there doing other stuff you know right so, yeah yeah but that being said i'm totally out of whatever you well, were yeah bringing and, out. and and like uh, i said uh he, when he walked in today i told him i go we i really don't have anything planned um, as far as topics to discuss i go and i definitely don't want to talk about what's going on in the world <laughs> and he said to me real innocently what, what's going on in the world yeah what do you mean and i was like what are you fucking talking about what do you mean and he he does not know about the whole uh division of the country i guess if you will with mm -hmm. the whole uh with the whole feeling behind the uh the uh just what i'm looking for the protest i'm sorry the nfl protest so, so there's a lot of people who are yeah they're, yeah they're on both sides of it some people feel they're disrespecting the anthem and, and the flag and there's a lot of people who feel like they have the right to uh do so and and uh, freedom of speech is that what they're calling yeah that they're one? calling it freedom okay. of speech absolutely because um, that's the big debate I think right now with more more so than all this other stuff um, there, there there is the division like you're saying of all, but I think the freedom of speech thing is what's really being contested in, in, in a lot of forms uh, you know what I mean right it's it you know and it, it's a uh, amendment it really so. wasn't a, I mean it was a deal last year when Kaepernick started it people, oh, yeah, people yeah, were yeah, mad yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. it really took off after uh, Trump addressed it in a disrespectful manner it it's it skyrocketed into everything now and that's all that you see on on yeah. on uh, Facebook Trump didn't know girls watch football too <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah a lot of people watch you get, football. Some, you get some big chick fans out there Especially in the driving, you know, oh, there's a lot of big, lot, chicks lot of are, chick fans that are oh, there, yeah. big time hardcore. Football wear their colors year round, just like a, any other fan that is dedicated to a team. And in some places, you wouldn't think. So uh, that was that was a definite foul move by him if he was thinking it was going to be just a, a male quarry right. kind of a thing. It uh, it's unfortunate, and, and you yeah. know, it's unfortunate because I hate to see the division. My my standard that I see equate in all forms of control power from the from the smallest thing in parenting to wars to all that stuff is divide and conquer right your kids are fighting amongst themselves i want this toy i want that toy go to your room you go to your with your mom right separate them and, and then and then you got where it escalates on much bigger scales and that's a, i kind of see them trying to do that i think i'm not for sure i don't know where it's all at but they shouldn't the American people shouldn't allow themselves to be divided for such. It's know? happening, and, it, it, and it's it happening. Sucks to hear. So, yeah, it's it sucks bad. And, you know, I'm, I'm on Facebook on a daily basis, and I man, and I, it's, I've gotten roped into it. Unfortunately, put putting my view out there a little too much than I would really want yeah. to. And um, well, and, everyone's got an opinion. Yeah, and, and, and everyone and, and they do. Well, well, you feel like I think I mean not knowing. Well, everyone feels like they're on the same side their opinion will still vary in any like form you know, of, you know like you might feel it, it could be as simple as uh you know okay sure one, one a is right b is wrong um but a should have done this you know or something and then all the other a guys are like no 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 no, no. we shouldn't have done anything in concession for a side it's all A's, A day, all day, you know, and then the B guys are feeling the same way. And there might be someone on the B side that's like, man, you know, we shouldn't be so. For me, I, it's pretty clear cut. Hard. Either people think it's disrespectful um, or other people feel they're, they're flexing their American-made right. It, it's yeah. real simple. It's, you know, and it's, it's uh, like I said, it's bad. And I didn't even want to talk about this on the show. I wanted to keep politics out, off of this podcast. I, you know, I, wanted, I think, I think uh, just airing it, 
is not actually taking a side because I don't feel I've taken a side. You know, we've said that from the beginning. I, I, I'm just saying that people shouldn't allow themselves to be divided. And if someone feels like that's taking a side, well, they're ultimately extreme of some sort. You know what I mean? Right. I, that's all I can say is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't think that we're being, if you will, mm, political in the sense that we're choosing sides oh, or, no, I don't, or, you know, or arguing. I don't think we're, we're, we're just making note that this is a foul situation for America. Yeah. And, uh, and hopefully, whatever it may be, I, I don't, I, this is one of those, uh, I think you can chase to the end of the sunset forever and it just keeps going and going. Uh, the, the, there could be no end to this, and, that, and I think the powers that be want a no end type of a division. Type yeah, of you know, there was, I've seen a lot of funny uh, articles, you know, and they talked about how back in the Roman days, the whole purpose behind the the, the Colosseum and the gladiator sports, or what, what, whatever well, yeah. you want to call it, is that was a distraction. The people, yeah, 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 yeah. that was a distraction. Yeah, from from political things, and and in some ways, this is kind of happening, maybe accidental. But there's definitely a smoke screen over the political yeah. thing because oh, there's, yeah, there's yeah. so much talk, talk about uh, North Korea. Mm -hmm. But it's we're not talking about that. Where it's totally being side skirted from, if you will, the general public that yeah. would rather talk about this divisional stuff. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and that being said, you can see that a lot itself throughout history and how stuff plays out is uh, someone much like a magician or any other card cheat. Is, is making you watch this hand while he twinkles your eye and the other hand is over here, you know, uh, caressing something out of your pocket. You know, so like, like always, this story. The, the, the drawing to your, your, your vision or something elsewhere so you're not paying attention to the bigger scheme. And this bigger scheme being, the, like, yeah. for instance, this is a Saturday the 30th, so uh, a little after lunch, and there's a there's an article on the, on the this, uh, I don't even know who I'm following, but it's a, it's a, to report that they have on it says North Korea. It says Rooters. Rooters. Oh, okay, so uh, uh, credit you know, Rooters. Yeah, yeah, and I think this is Windows that I'm using. Uh, brand new computer, still getting used to it, so I apologize for you, Windows people. Uh, but it's uh, North Korea seen moving missiles from development centers, and this is this was by a South Korean broadcast. Um, so there's things going on in this world that we probably need to start focusing on that really matter. I mean, matters at home matter absolutely. Yeah. But it's pretty, to me, it's pretty obvious on what the solution of this is. And, uh, and I know that, and God, right? I think, I think I, I'm with you on the matters at home. You know, everyone, I think, can understand that. But I think... It's bigger than that. It's, it's much bigger than that. And Neil deGrasse said it best in one of his shows that he hosts. And, uh, and he was breaking down, you know, everyone is so local, localized. Yeah, I live here in Fredericksburg. We love the burg, right? But where is the Berg? The Berg is Texas, USA, the world, Earth. You know, right. that's that's the that's the bottom line that everyone forgets in their in their overall address is Earth. You know, and and that's as local as we can get is the whole world. And they need to understand that. Yeah, you know, sure we have our simple stuff going on here in the world that like is I isn't. To say small, but it's 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 very nitpicky, you know. It's nitpicky when there's much a larger you know larger scale stuff that is uh, not so nitpicky, but real deal, right? Affecting the the globe. Yeah, you know, and the real matters that matter are like Hugh Hefner dying. Oh <laughs> no, joke! That's a real you know, matter. That's a huge. That's a huge loss to players in the world yeah, yeah. man you know and, and from the from the from the small guy to the big player out there you know if you're if if all you're trying to do is get that girl uh from your science class that you got the lab with to the dude that's banged out hundreds of chicks in his life oh yeah and like they tennis. know you they respect him they honor the guy you know every man he's a man's man that never really had to do I think uh, any other manly act than, <laughs> than, just bang. than just bang. And they're all yeah. tens. It's no, oh, for sure. Of, he ain't yeah, no yeah. sevens. No, no. no. I, I, wonder, I wonder what his, what his lineup was like pre Hugh Hefner stuff, though. You know what I mean? Right. If he was always the ten guy, if he was that suave dude that, you know, sure, maybe his lab partner, his, you know, 
chick that he got hot for first was some super big and he never went back he's like you know what i had the cream of the crop in school and i'm just not going back i, I, I won't settle for anything less and if that's all he ever knew or if he had himself a few you know uh Betty's, if you will you know yeah so but yeah a big time loss to the world yeah big yeah time loss. sure legend 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 all the way give him give him mythical mythical figure i think when they uh when the future writes about him and they see that someone was able to present something that by and large society deems very non-touch you know like nudity is something that's very faux pas but he was the and one that got, he got away with it because mm -hmm. he, 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 he made it huge he made it he, you know sure there's other guys the other magazines out there but right. he made it where it was like it was mainstream yeah it was, it was, uh, we're still going to show t yeah, and a but we're going to yeah. give you a little bit of class yeah. with it and and, and you what know name too the, the playboy name i don't i don't think that that totally says it's pretty sexist it, it's it, <laughs> you know what i mean but yeah. no, it's, you know it don't matter yeah but yeah it was a uh, i like i said he, he has such Hearing, a, when i heard that i was like oh. legacy yeah legacy you know they did for a couple of not times. that huge you think he's, he's the huge. guy would I don't know? Could be someone cryogenically keeping him around, trying to do something. Keep his head in the jar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we need thinkers like that in the future. Yeah, he might be. You one know what I mean? Because he's got some great stories. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He uh he sold his mansion there a couple years ago, from what I understand. But the one uh, he did. Yeah, he, he yeah. did sell. Yeah, uh, from what I understand. And uh, the thing that was in the contract when you bought it was that. If you were gonna buy, you you had to allow him to live in in the pool house in the back. So he was still on yeah, yeah, yeah. on the premises, just in the pool house. And, and all his playgrounds. You know, yeah, you know. So yeah. you go out when you go out one morning, you're drinking your coffee, and you got a dude in water. <laughs> yeah, just watering the grass, you know. He's in the pool. How's it going, him? Whitey tidies and a handful of chicks all around him. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I'd want to buy a place and the guy who already owned the house is still in the, you know, it might be a, I don't know how big the property is, but. Oh, he, it's he, gotta be big. He's there the, in the corner. I mean, compared to, compared to Texas sized properties and, you know, I'm sure it's not because it's in the city, I think. It probably wasn't back in the day, but I think it's located somewhat in the city. So it's probably the size of a half a block or something like that and then he was able to acquire a big chunk or maybe it could be the whole block about an acre or so yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. more maybe more if i'd had my and then he probably bought extras yeah i yeah. could have checked it into that yeah you're right that would that would have been right over there be right. yeah go get it no uh, worries no worries you know, it's, it's worth it's worth checking up on this guy there's gonna there's gonna be stories told about him till time of memorial he you know how we were saying about uh you die twice you know when they put you in the grave and then the he, last person yeah last talk he he's one he's going to be one of these and it's hard to do nowadays i think where where you hear about ancient history and all these guys from it that you can still name achilles the mythical guy right? so, so on and so forth uh julius caesar uh napoleon all, all these guys hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of years ago that we still you know he was going to be one too. That his name probably will never. You so, know, but in some form or fashion, there's always going to be a play. I bet you. I bet you. It, there's countless playboys and countless time capsules around the globe. That yeah, this was Miss 1998, or then this was Miss 2008, and they're probably making one for already next year. That this was Miss 2018, and he'll be part of time capsules and so on and so forth, or even aliens get to know about that Bob. you know um, I'm telling you dude huge man <laughs> he, uh, he's one he's one guy that I think he let his son take over or something like that okay. a year okay. or so ago so yeah. they, they tried the whole playboy with no nudes ah uh, uh, what a joke yeah it didn't last they brought what it right they brought it right back yeah I don't think anyone would be into that I don't think anyone would be into that at all no man that's why you oh, lie look, it actually comes up as one of the main <laughs> main searches people are all wondering it so see look at those guns maybe it's bigger than a couple acres it's oh 5.02 acres just call it okay. five acres so it's uh, yeah so it's bulk of your real estate safety belts butter beans because as of this morning the plate oh. shit my bad 
No worries. No worries. I can get right back into it. Mansion has officially hit the market with an official and officially eye popping asking price of 200 million the highest asking price ever for a residential property in and that was in january 10th of 2016. Ooh, so 5.2 acres is the size of the mansion yeah location 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 i wonder how big the, the grotto takes up a good bit look at that takes up a whole chunk of the grounds that's a or that's the pool and then i don't know where the grotto is at i guess the grotto is in one of these hidden locations or something because that's not it from what I understand, it's covered. I've never been there. I would. I mean, there's an area. That, that's one of those uh, definite uh, got go before you die locations for a man. I think. Yeah, you were talking about listening to that Jim Norton podcast with Joe Rogan the other day. Yeah. Did you hear him when he talked about his his? Oh yeah. <laughs> he got denied. <laughs> Not enough credit. Yeah. So so credit. even though you're somewhat famous, you can't just walk into the playroom. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. There's an actual girl checking out your credentials, and they're googling you. So you walk yeah. up, and let's say you're Puff Daddy. And let's say they don't know who Puff Daddy is, they're gonna Google you, yeah, Google you, check you out, and by your profile on Google is what they're letting you walk yeah. in as. Like whether like whether or not you're gonna be worthy of taking pics, like look at you and them, all these Payboy Mansion pics. Yeah, what a what that, a sweet spot. Man. I guess that's the famous one. Or yeah, you, when you see it in movies, you think, oh, epic. Yeah, you, big time loss. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was '91, I think, something like that. Yeah. Is that right? Ninety one. What an age to have met, man! Like, and a young and a young who he was pretty. He was a good looking guy. So I mean, you know, he was slanging that yeah, beat yeah, the whole, yeah, yeah. whole time. Like, look at this girl, homegirl right here in this pic. I think that's the first one. That's that uh, Buffy or uh, she's good looking as could be. Bonnie something or other or something like that. His first one. See, so he must have been having. Uh, look at that. He he he. So yeah, that's a major loss. And that was Big basically time. those were the only two things I can really think of that happened in the in the in the news. Is this is it, I wonder if that's his son right there in that purple pit. Yeah, and it looks exactly like him. Yeah. Cooper right, Hefner, yeah. they said. Coops! How's it Coop? He's guaranteed never seen an ugly piece of uh booty. Oh yeah, no, he, no he guaranteed doubt. never seen an ugly piece. I saw a report this morning that talked about his wife that he was just married to when he passed away. She's he didn't leave her in anything. Really? Yeah. That's what I saw on the Yahoo that's, page. That's a, you know, I mean, you never know how things were when they finished or how they were while they were together. Or, so, you can't. You know, I think he's had so much, many but wives. That's pretty wild that she didn't get jacked. Well, he's had so many wives. He yeah. understands they're not marrying me because they love me. Oh, yeah. They may yeah. care about me, they but see, they're not yeah. marrying me because. They think sooner or later they'll get a payout. Yeah. And, 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 and if he thought that, then he's he's ridiculous. You know? That they loved him? Yeah. Like, yeah. they were there for the long run. He gave run. that any credibility? They were any? there for a stepping oh, stone. Oh, for know? sure. For sure. And, and so the fact that he didn't leave her anything, I ain't hating. Yeah. Yeah, good. Good. And <laughs> <laughs> so, you're out there, world, I don't know. You should know the same thing, too. Yeah. Well, like I said, there's not much going on in the news, and uh, we didn't want, I didn't want to talk about the whole political thing going on anyway, but Johnny yeah. didn't know, so I figured yeah. we'd talk about it a little bit and kind of get his take on it. And... Uh, being that he's not like the most the rest of us that are sitting in front of computers and have yeah. a phone in our face because like, I think I think what happens is you read something that, that discuss well, just you don't like right just automatically you don't like it it's like ah, that what a total stupid comment and uh, and that's where it, that's where you know they've got you because right. you're already upset with that and then you're thinking about leaving something most likely you're not your opinion starts to get deeper because you you got to cut that guy's opinion in half and try to make something out of it and, you know, it just starts to weigh on your soul and then everyone everyone that's getting into it i think that's how it goes is that they, uh, at some point they, they themselves too are like i'm not going to play into this i'm going to do my own thing i'm going to you know the world is upset for whatever reasons and I'm not going to be but then well let me just see what it's about you know like who doesn't like reading a good comment or two and then the comments set you off like oh look at this idiot you yeah, know because then, there's a bunch yeah. of dude, that's one thing and I think when you if you're going to do that you should understand that there's going to be the everyone has their own opinion and not a, every single one of them is going to be one you like 
one thing that I'm taking away from all this is the modern day propaganda from both sides. Oh, both, it's heavy. It's bad. It's man. so heavy. Real I'm bad. so glad that I don't have to deal with that. People are just people bombarding are, and, him all day. And the thing about Facebook yeah. is you can share yeah. stuff. So people are like sharing all this stuff, both sides. Yeah, 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 sharing both all sides. The, yeah, yeah. And they're not looking into any of it. Yeah, okay. So, uh, even so, worse. So it's just a just, jerk circle of, yeah, 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 yeah. of, of filth. Just yeah, going yeah, back sure. and forth, back and forth, back and a forth. Lot, a lot of it, uh, there's, there's probably a one or two or three or four, you know, it starts to add up of good things, right? But there's so many people that have, because what I noticed too is that there's a lot of capitalistic to the side. You know, you've got your teams already drawn out for which side you prefer um, this whole government issue, right? Blue, red, whatever. And... They're selling merchandise, so it's like, you know, that, that another reason why they might be trying to get the NFL out of it, because they're a competing factor now. They're a big corporation that's competing against their merchandise sales, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, don't fall into it, people. Like you said, the propaganda, yeah, the, is, the, high, the propaganda high, is, 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 is rife out there. And hypocrisy if, is running rampant. And, 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 and they, if, you, if, if someone who isn't keen to... Uh, you know, people's deception and ills of the world, and they just are, you know, maybe they don't understand how uh, subliminal messages and the human psyche are intertwined in there. You know, it's very susceptible, the human brain, to the smallest glimpse. It's like I was saying, you just read it, and all the next thing you know, you're like, I wasn't going to be upset, but you are, you know, and. The people that are doing this know exactly how the human brain works, and they spend count while you spend countless hours trying to fill your brain with you know stuff that just gets you away from whatever stress it may be. Right? You know, you're looking at your Instagram, you're looking at your Twitter feed, you're looking at whatever it may be. All those different things they have. Uh, I can't name them all. I don't know them all. You're looking at your Facebook feed, all that stuff. Uh, there looking into how the human brain works and how they can manipulate it. So you're over here trying to drown yourself out from all this stuff when they're just honing their skills on how to keep you in it. You gotta find a way out of it. Just maybe get away from it for a minute. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But get away from however they can get at you. <laughs> don't, let, don't let yourself be had. Just look into it. Yeah, yeah. Educate, educate yeah. yourself a little bit. If you think it's disrespectful to the flag, Look into why it's disrespectful to the flag. Yeah. And let me give you an example. For instance, I was at a job site the other day, you know, and I and a, a gentleman was as loud as can be. He just walks up and he and it's very very loudly disagreeing with the protest, and he has every right to do so. I disagree with the protest, but I yeah. but I'm not knocking the guys for them doing it. He's it, just he's just ranting on. Yeah. About so like, he's you know he's he's going on. He's got something to say. He's like these guys have never served, you know, and just going on. And he's he's again talking, assumptions. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? he, assumptions. And he's just going off about how these <laughs> these overprivileged football players never served, and and just mad that they're disrespecting the flag and mad that they're disrespecting the anthem. So I had a chance to actually talk to him because he comes up and starts talking to me about it and kind yeah. of giving me like, dude, you need to protest the football, you know, <laughs> and tell and so and I asked, so I asked him that and and with all that's going on from day one I started researching all the stuff that people were getting mad about uh, so I did a little bit of research about the anthem and the flag so I said to the gentleman uh, and I've taught and I actually know this guy I've, I've always liked him and so I so I had the com the comfort to actually ask him these questions yeah see I think that's a lot of the cases so that I said to him to drop their comfort so I said to him I go I go you're, so you're mad about them disrespecting the, the anthem and the, and the flag right and he goes yes he goes very mad I go so uh, I go so do you know who wrote the anthem no, I go, Francis got keyed. Were, were you, do you know what his profession was when he wrote the anthem? No, he's a, he was a lawyer. Uh, do you know when the anthem got made official by our government to become the national anthem? Nah. They didn't know nothing nah. about it. But, but, he, yeah, but he had, but yeah. he had the, uh, the audacity to go around telling everybody all this yeah. stuff. You know, and it's just like, dude. You're 100% free to feel the way you feel, but make your opinion have value. Yeah, yeah, yeah Make for your sure. opinion have value. That's so, what it's yeah, all about. Definitely. Just make your opinion have value. Uh, whether you feel it's a disagreement or not, or you feel like they're, they're, they're flexing their, their American right, just know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's yeah. simple. Very simple. Definitely. And, 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 and the knowledge is there. 
you know, everyone while they're doing this or that, they could easily be researching. Yeah, it's all and, right there and, on your and, phone. And rather than getting manipulated again by all the stuff that's going on and to be had and be like, oh no, I'm pissed off. And you know, to take it around though, like, yeah, oh, well, you know, he, to take it with him anywhere he goes, yeah. like, <laughs> it's weighing on him. And that's not good, you know, he should, the, the, the world shouldn't do that for you. I think the world should, you know, make you happier. Well, and, and I'll be honest. You should, you should be wanting to perpetuate the happiness and everything, you know what I mean? Right. And so. I'll be honest with you and I'll be honest with all our listeners. I fell trap of that. I started posting stuff that I was like, yeah. no, you're wrong. Yeah. So let me tell you why I'm right. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, and then I was getting to the point where I was like, God, oh, these people are so ignorant. They're fighting over shit that yeah, yeah, yeah. is is pretty common knowledge, but they don't have the knowledge. So I was getting mad about it. Yeah. And then I and then I woke up one day and I was like, stop. Yeah. So I deleted as much of the stuff that I felt was not. Even if I felt I was right, I still deleted it all because I just like, felt like... Like comments you had made? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you know, all my posts. Like yeah. I said, I may agree with what I... And I still stand by what I've always posted, but I still deleted it all because that was... You know, that's... It was just... It was posted yeah, in, yeah. in a harmful way, in my opinion, because I posted it in anger, thinking, you're ignorant. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And then I thought to myself... Not, not, just, not just trying to drop knowledge, but you were upset about it. Yeah. And, and making a point. Pe- to... We've always yeah. said, this is... We don't have a view. I'm not red. I'm yeah, not white. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Republican. I'm not um, I, Democratic. I, I don't have. I don't have any view at all. Yeah. I don't have a crew that I'm hanging out with. I'm gonna go as far as to say, eh, you know what? If you're either or, you're already at it the wrong way. Because what we're about is humanity. That's it. That and, was all. And, those, and, and, and choosing a side is division of humanity. If you're not for perpetuating humanity. Then you're obviously I I don't even. That's what it was about for me. Yeah. It wasn't about the numbers or the the laws passed or well, I mean to a certain extent it was about the, how the laws passed because yeah. it, there's to me if the laws a law then it's you're either on one side or the other. Yeah, yeah true. And, and you know and, and I looked into the Constitution. I looked into br- police brutality numbers. I looked into a lot, man. Okay, you researched yeah, the whole book. Yeah, that, that was all I was doing because yeah, I wasn't gonna be. Which is good. I wasn't gonna be you, one of those. People. But I was getting yeah. mad. Though. It was a same because like because it was so to me. <laughs> so it was good and it was bad. It, it was, was like, ob- there. Effect. Obviously, to me, yeah. is a problem in America with with certain situations, and so I understand why there is an E being taken. Do I agree with how the knee is being taken and at what time the knee is t- being taken? No, I'm not. A, they can stand and raise their hand yeah. and honor what a lot of men have fought for, yeah. which is their right to protest. And I've heard, I've heard lots of veterans say they have every right to protest, and I agree they have every right to protest. But come on, bro. If you're gonna do it at that time, don't yeah. be getting mad because people are getting mad about it. Yeah, 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 you're trying to upset someone. You shouldn't be upset that you did. You did what you wanted. Yeah, you like, know what I mean. Like, yeah. They have they have thousands of microphones in the locker room with them. Oh really? And they're just they jaw jacking. No, no. Oh, they, oh okay. That's when they can say with how they feel. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime okay. they have something controversial, somebody's gonna say, "Well, let me hear about it." That's yeah, what they could have yeah. done. Totally, totally. That's what they could have yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. And I, like I said, I, I feel there is a, pr- a police brutality number uh, problem in America. Yeah. I, I did a lot of research and saw a lot of videos. It was, it was higher. Or yeah, and yeah. it's not just for the African America. It they were, they were. There was a lot of cases where it was white, Mexicans, old. Young, black, yellow, green, purple, yeah. bananas. People always forget that third, that third, that third process of the cops. You know what I mean? There Protect, was, serve, and control. There was a lot. Of, there was a lot of bad <laughs> People situations. People always forget the third. The now, third now, do I feel blah, blah, just to wrap there. up? Just to wrap up my my start of what I was talking about. Just do I feel like the uh, the numbers are real high in police brutality in, in situations? No, I do not feel yeah. that they're high. I feel it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little speck of, of, of situation that is that is really bad. But that little speck, that little small percent in in the spectrum of a million, is it ends up being a big percent. Yeah, yeah. Of, says a lot. Yeah. yeah, and so and all they're asking for is just to call attention to that. But the smoke screen is being put into di- disrespecting when it's not. Yeah, it's about yeah, yeah. rights, you know. It's, it, it's like it's like Rosa Parks sitting on the bus. She had that right to do it, and thank God she did because now the world got a smaller, small bit better because yeah. of her, you know. And, and vice versa, and vice versa. Got country. closer to that humanity level. And that's all that's really level. going on. To, you know, yeah. And like I said, I don't agree with the protests. Fuck that. Yeah. But I think they have every right to. 
And that's how I that's how I feel about it. And I didn't want to talk about it. That, yeah. This we talked about it way more than I really wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you know, I, I said it yeah. like five times. I don't want to talk about it. But like, I, it's life. It, it is, and not myself, and I don't know who else, but I'm guessing that it's weighing in a lot of households, on a lot of people's minds, you know, um, for who knows what reason. Right. They they know someone that served. They know someone that got beat up by the cops. And it's and, not going to stop it's in football. It's too different, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's not going to stop with football. People think that, you know, well, once football season's over, it's going to stop. No, NBA is about to start. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and a baseball player has done it already. So a soccer player done it last year, a female soccer player. Did World it. Cup's coming up yeah, next year. And, uh, I've heard of, of talk of See high what school kids. See what the world has to say about it? Yeah, there's going to be, it's just going to trickle down. It needs to get addressed. It needs to be addressed. Donald Trump needs to take the time to address. I know how he feels about it, and that's that's okay if that he feels. But you can't fight ignorance with ignorance, or anger with anger, or you're worse. You're I'm better than you, and yeah. your, your protest is better than my view. No, it, it all needs to be. It just needs to be addressed yeah. by some way, somehow, and we need to move forward. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's sim- it's simple. Yeah. Uh, where where the standstill at the world or. You're making it closer to home. And if we are about to be in war, and if we are about to be in war with South Korea, dude, we're right for the picking. We're we're already fighting with each other. (laughs) Exactly. So here's the time for them. They've already divided us, and then all they got to do is strike. Yeah, and we're, and that's why, to me, I'm scared every day in the back of my mind. Not, I don't live in fear, but I think to myself, if we're gonna, if we're gonna be in a fight, I welcome it, folks. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? You live in fear, but I'm like, bring it. I'm in the woods. Well, you're already, yeah, yeah. you're already living I'm, 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 I'm so off, I'm yeah. ready for this shit to go Yeah, down. you're already, you're, you I, I, I'm yin-yang about the folks. I pity them, and then I'm like, you know what? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and, it, and that's so neat for uh, for people who don't know Johnny's story or whatever. You know, he was living in a highly populated area yeah, of Hawaii. I was, I was in the city. Yeah, he was I in was paradise. Right in the middle of the city. And then all of right a sudden, the freeway, just enjoying. And for like ten years or whatever, because yeah, 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 he, yeah. he he went to school nine, here. Nine years, nine years. Yeah, and then left left over there after high school, and then he came back. And well, well, he didn't come back to the normal job and whatever that we do. No, he took it a whole other level to where he's like. I'm gonna challenge myself. So he's living off the grid, yeah. and he's uh, as you can see, he does. He's not some. I, I, I don't bum it up. Yeah, you know. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. You know, you know, like I feel like I'm fairly clean. You just have a you, know? you have a great perspective about things. You know, yeah. things that I probably take for granted. You probably are, those are blessings for you in ways that oh. I, that I want to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so some, uh, some some of the one of the, like just before I take I take a shower, I got a tote with water right now. I was taking a shower, and almost every time it never fails. I think about. One of my uh, one of my good friends in Hawaii. He was a transplant from Oregon. Not not he was semi, if you will, woodsy, but uh, still from the city. Anyways, guy had this whole concept because being that homelessness was huge, it was a big thing out there in Hawaii. There's so many homeless people, right? And uh, you go to the beach, so they're they're showering at the beach alongside you. They bring their shampoo. They're doing the whole nine. You can tell the difference, right? You're washing off just some dirt. They got the whole filth going, right? Um, uh, and he had come up with this whole uh, concept or idea, theory that showering outside is at two ends of the spectrum. You know, rich people build showers outside for themselves where they can be all stoked out and they got their seclusion, their little privacy in the shower outside, right? And then you got the homeless that are pretty much stuck showering outside at you know, local beaches or something like that. And so he was, it's either or, it's either or. And so whenever I'm showering right there, right, I got my thing going on, I always ask myself, what end of the spectrum am I on? <laughs> <laughs> am I the dirt poor guy, the you know, no. bum? But I don't feel really rich either, right. but, but I got my outside shower nonetheless. You're definitely is, not dirt poor. Which is stoke. Stoke, stoke. I'm I'll, so dude, I would love to happy take, about I would like to take showers outside. If I ever get to the place where I can yeah. kind of personally build my area, I'm building an outside shower in yeah. some way for those summer, summer days. For sure, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's something spiritual about that, you know. Man. Especially at sunset. Uh, yeah. The heat, you got the heat bearing down on you so hard. You take that shower outside. How, how many gallons? In the wind. How many gallons does that shower hold? Uh, well, it's the whole tote, and the whole tote is a thousand liters. So people don't know what that. Oh uh, well, two hundred and fifty. It's a little more than. It's about three hundred gallons. That's two hundred and fifty. Uh, so a hundred liters. That's that's fifty of those Sprite cans for those people that don't yeah. know. No, but, but <laughs> it, 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 it has it in gallons also. Wow. It's just I max it out and the gallons stop at a certain reason. Uh, it's like 250 is what it reads 
and then it goes 250 the gallons yeah wow choke water so man. how much are you filling that up um every, if i set it up right where it doesn't run as i shower it, it kind of just trickles out and i can bathe real well because sometimes i'll set it up and it you know the height and the way the water runs it just pours out and it's like <laughs> <laughs> so, so I could waste a lot. It depends. If I do it right, it, that thing will last me a month, two uh, months. How do you fill it? Three months. You have a hose? Or no, no. Uh, yeah, I have a hose, and I bring it into town, and I fill up that tub. Oh, no yeah. shit. Yeah. How, how do you lift that thing to, to put it, to hoist it back up? You got when to come along or something? When it's empty, it's only the time I can move it. Um, otherwise, uh, I'll have, I have a second tote out there that I mix match water into the drinking stuff that, you know, like oh I'm up. assuming I thought it was like hanging in the tree or something oh no 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 um I, I run the hose from it and I'll hang the hose in the tree I got you yeah at one point I had it up on rocks and it was probably about four foot high it was all crouched gravity you know, gravity oh yeah it's all gravity fed I no no energy or anything like cool. that I am thinking about getting solar but yeah it's still it's a Mac with did that. You, from what I read it, doing all the research I did, did you, with the hurricanes hitting uh, hitting Florida, did you know it was against the law to have solar power in Florida? No, at I least didn't. that's from what I read. Wow, might be BS, but I thought uh, to myself, that's not cool. That's not cool at all because <laughs> yeah. they got so much sun. They want to make money off yeah, of that, for off sure. of the energy, I guess. Well, they can. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know how far we are, but there's that peak stuff coming up. Yeah. And uh, speaking of hurricane, and, and uh, we were talking about how bad football players are. Well, here's a good story about a football player doing some good in the world. And this is a the rookie quarterback yeah, for Houston. For rookie, huh? I really appreciate y'all. So I wanted to get my first game set to y'all to help y'all out some type of way. So he uh, looks like he's gonna cry too. You guys do. No problem. His first game check. He gave it out to those ladies at the that worked for the. He, he he divided it up, huh, and spread it out. Yeah. And they work in the cafeteria at the. What, I wonder what a million looks like split up. No, right, <laughs> dude. This dude right here is awesome. This, oh, see, this is. What is this guy? I can remember some plastic bottles. See, oh, he's got his torch. Whoa! He made this. Cool sound. Yeah. Well, now it's dark. Let's see how this thing looks. At night. I started with the propane cylinders, then I saw map gas. It has methylene, acetylene, propylene gas in there, so that ups the flame temperature. But this it guy's head in the car for sure, right? Temperature. The lower ignition temperature means it it looks like a Gatorade fucking bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but man, it is pumping oh, something out. Amazing. amazing. So propane will just give So it's blue, not. That's the propane gas. Then I thought here, I thought he had lit up a ball of machine with gas. Yeah, it's a, it's a chemical reaction. Ah, it's a chemical reaction. I'm hitting stuff. Look at the ferocity. Oh. You know if this guy's cooking this up in his backyard, the government's got some serious stuff. He must be somewhat phone. Oh, this ain't Travis invention. Oh, for sure. That's not your average invention. How you that's, that's some high tech. Al, uh, Staller? Staller? Yeah. It's either Staller or Staller. It just so, depends on so how they keep, want to pronounce keep, uh, it. Keep an eye out for this gentleman. Yeah, he's, he's doing something pretty neat with his brain. For sure. He, he Wow. Man, I'm still awed by that thing. Like I said, I thought it was a ping pong ball or something lit up that he was firing. Yeah, it, that's what I thought. I thought it was like a, a, a like you said, a, a ping pong ball that's on fire yeah. and he's just launching. No, but it's that a, was the gas. Yeah. In its own little cluster, boom. And from what I understand, you heard the pop. It's a gas hitting another gas. Oh, okay. So that's where that, and yeah, then it gets sandwiched it. between another gas, and that's what the the uh, chemical reaction is. is Weaving through leveling them up, yeah. So I guess, and then and then, spiraling them and then I guess they hit that when they all hit together in that last part of the uh, contraption that he's got, they just release, mm -hmm. and that's where the uh, fusion man fusion that's all physics. Fusion. So, so those, those, those uh, halo guns, they're out there. Oh, yeah, and is that a snake? Yes, this is a what a dummy, don't do it. This is a snake in a toilet. I've heard of that stuff, man. Uh, me too. I've heard and of I, that and stuff. I, how does this happen? I wonder. They, they, they get stuck in the sewage. So they come up. And they, yeah, they come up. 
Oh, they come up. Shit. That's how they do it. That's not what I wanted to hear. That's what I understand is they come up. Oh my to god, me, that thing's gruesome. To me, it was more that's of a comfort gross. that it came in through like your house and it crawled in there. No, no. To me, that's more of a comfort because I'm like, I can, I can, I can affect that. I can stop that. From I wonder happening. if that's a black mama or if that's just a chicken snake or something like that. He's not too scared of it, so it must be just a big old chicken snake. No, no, the country right at him. Look at that. This is after. I do flooring, so they really need to replace that floor in there. Yeah, that's that's dated. Yeah, it's actually in really good shape for an old floor. For a uh, million, huh? Look at that thing, man. Hey, bye. Can you hear me? I always wanted to get one of those snake things. He doesn't got a bag or nothing to put him in? What a kook. It's got to be down south. He's got to be a little... You don't miss snake wrangler ever. You gotta give him the tornado, man. <laughs> tornado. This has got to be down south. Sure. It's some kind of boa, it looks like, from the bottom. We got him out. Hold this one. Got him out. Hold this one. I told you. Yeah, I've heard so many stories about that happening. The guy that's recording this is totally having a dad boner. Are you have you heard of this term dad boners? No. Yeah, dude, it's hilarious. A dad, Ooh, is a dad that, boner. It's a thing now. Yeah, it's when an older man gets really excited about something that doesn't make any sense to be excited. How about. did you like? This is kind of a. They cool, call that a dad boner. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Okay, this so is say again. Of, you get excited. Yeah, and, uh, about something that. Yeah, we're gonna go check this out right now. I never heard. Of, that's a man. Some of the stuff they come up to these days. We're man. gonna go to YouTube and pull up a couple of dad boners, and it's not, it's not of the phallus type. It's it's an expression. Okay, it's just, yeah, yeah, just an, an expression, expression, just a term. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's like I said, it's when an older gentleman gets excited about something that is not really all that cool to get excited about, like a man getting excited about crossing the bridge for the first time. This is a dad boner. All right, here we go. First time going over the new bridge. Woo! New bridge traveling! Bridge, bridge, bridge! <laughs> oh, super excited. I'm so excited, oh. man. Going places I've never going, been before. Like, he should be playing some Willie. Going oh, places I ain't never gone. That's a bad idea. Motley Crew all day. <laughs> Motley Crew all day. <laughs> Why not under the bridge? <laughs> all right. Here, Here we go. go. Here we go. Keep going straight. Keep going straight. Oh, it's all new to me. It's all, I don't, this, I, this is so strange. I've never You're been on the road before. before. You really need what experience. You really need experience. Oh, sweet, an underpass. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a very <laughs> mild version. Wait till I show you a real one. Okay. This is mild. Like, like he's like, oh, you didn't know that. This is like mild. Said, for no reason. Wow, what a turn. Oh, no. Dad moment. Never knew. Oh, so excited. So excited. Alright. I wonder how many lanes there's going to be. There's probably going to be like 20. <laughs> I wonder how many lanes. Lanes. Yeah, this is a full on dive. Oh, wait, my car. That's hilarious. Oh, I get it now. Saskatchewan River. Here we go. 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 This is the this is it right here. This is the textbook version of a dad boner right here. Oh, is he going over the same thing? No, this is a complete different thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Definition. Well. Okay. Here we are. This is the Trans Canada Highway, baby. <laughs> And These canucks, we man. are standing in beautiful, sunny British Columbia, the <laughs> kilometer marker, 7,128. You see the mile marker, fool. this is where I believe 
with a 90%. Uh, no, make that 95%. 95, dog. No. So he just up to 5%. He be real. He be real. He just up to 5%. Where the Trans Canada paved its last section. Woo! <laughs> I wouldn't right take any of that for sure unless I saw a paver there. <laughs> hey, you're on a historical marker there, bro. <laughs> Let's go for a run on her, shall we? The dad boner's not over. Yeah. This is the Seattle's of dad boner. For sure, he's had he's he's going four hours, man. He ain't calling the doctor. He's like, man, I, I'm calling I'm calling all my ex girlfriends, my ex wife, four hours. <laughs> oh what a run! He just threw down. <laughs> he just threw down a five yarder. Whoa! He's gas. That is such a huge dad boner. He might pass out from all the blood going to yeah. him. You know, he's, he's at that gas. point. He's at that point. <laughs> he's gonna pass out. Yeah. You want to see another dad? No, no. <laughs> you I got need, the picture. Right? I, I, I understand. I'll see the, oh, I see what it is. Okay, we're going to do one more. I know you said no more. Okay. But <laughs> just to round it out, this guy gets excited about a train. And he knows word for word or okay. number for number. Ah, I've been waiting for this moment for months, and it's finally here. It's going to toot my horn. I'm finally going to get a heritage unit, unit on camera. Dad's yeah. donor time in five. All oh, right. Oh, look right. at that. A 1953 EA. Woo-hoo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> listen to that bell. 53? That's a classic, too. Yeah, listen Man, to that bell. Oh, take a look at that. Oh, my God. Woo! Listen to that horn. I've never seen a train look like that, dude. Oh, my God. That's a dope train, dude. That's a super dope train. She is beautiful. Is it dad bone oh, worthy, yeah. though? No. Right. No, no. Oh, my It's definitely oh, worth enjoying. Oh, it's a short it's a PL2 too! Choo! Oh, the SNC 52! Oh my the god! The SNC 52! Oh, get it, buddy! Oh, this is special! This is special! Oh, I hope he has oh, a car himself. Oh, and the chills have absolutely nothing to do with how cold it is here! Oh! Oh! But that doesn't stop a foamer. No, oh, it does not. when it comes to heritage equipment. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, it doesn't stop a foamer. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Blue man, 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 both those trains oh, look sick, dude. The, oh, I didn't know they made trains. I thought they were all that old school Woo! classic industrial look. But these look like they're ah, meant to be styling and profiling. Well, you know what it is? Is oh, it trains up north? Are still oh ridden, gosh, I think, for right. oh. uh, you know, oh. public affair. While we in the south, we only see trains moving uh, goods, commodities, commerce, and stuff. You know what I mean? We we don't. I think those were more for getting on, enjoying, taking the train up north, wherever it may be going. Right, like they do where they do that. He had a dad boner. Yeah, he got it. I've been on a train, which is G as can be, but been again, on the yeah, the yeah, 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 but, but, uh, yeah, I remember we did the Silverton, that's right, yeah, um, but it was a classic too, it was an old was school, cool. Rick, it was, it was nothing like that one, oh, I was, I was jazzed when we did it, yeah, I wasn't that jazzed, yeah, no, no, I didn't, I didn't even get a teenage boner for that. So now your life, yeah. is, your life has been enhanced by for the sure, now I know that one, I'm boner. learning all kinds of words all the time <laughs> I listen to something on the net, I'm like, what the people, are, what, that's a thing? That's and a thing? Let's take a That's a thing. Let's take a look at this gentleman's hard work that he did for this fence. For his yeah, uh just completed fixing this fence. Pretty proud of it, it? Pretty proud of it. That's a nice looking fence. Yeah, it looks quality. Stella in the yard. She tried to keep Stella in the yard. Stella being his dog. So. Oh. Stella. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, you can just completely miss me. I like his little quiet yeah. damn it at the end. Damn it. So proud to have it. Yeah, yeah. Try to keep selling the art. Should have gone two foot that taller. Was, that was like, bitch. Yeah, she found the best spot. She's like, right here. There Bro. it is. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Damn it. I don't even think she had to put a whole lot of effort into that. No, that's, that's, she's, a, 
That's the Stella's a bad bitch. I was laughing my ass off when I saw that. Uh, this is a cool video of a 30 day time lapse on a. Ah, on a, uh, oh, these are always G. Ooh. Bad. So this is 30 days worth of footage compressed. Boy, we're about to take a trip on the ocean. No joke. What? That's amazing, man. I'm glad somebody did this. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's amazing. Look at that. Man, the skies. Man. Yeah, that is, that's something right there. There's no light. To that must have been a ship passing or something. Oh, I didn't even see it. I still looking up at the sea. Look at this, this storm, thunderstorm. Yeah. Looks like they're heading back into the city or something, or there's a ship, one of the two. No, that's a city. This hasn't been viewed enough. Uh, yeah, they're pulling, they're pulling in the port. You know what, you're absolutely right. This has not been viewed enough. It's uh, 300, less than 300,000. <sighs> yeah. That's a, that's a wonder of the world that only yeah. a certain amount of people get to see. And we you got see that speedboat zoom by? Yeah. I was kidding. I wish we knew what port they were pulling into. This might be the Panama Canal. Very well, could be. Most famous canal in the world. I think it might be the Panama Canal. I see some stuff that looks like... That was like, a lot of cargo on that ship. Yeah. Man, look at all those containers. Or that's maybe they, maybe that's the way this this port works. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Man, I never saw all the ends. This is cool to see. Man. I only saw about half of it when I, shared, when I saved it. That's all your stuff, people. Yeah, that's everybody moving from... The table. That's your TP. TVs, radios, iPods. That's your talk. peanut butter and jelly. iPhones. iPhones. It's your rubbers. <laughs> it's all there. The spatula. It's all there. Man, they took a long time unloading. That was a full... Oh, they unloaded and loaded up. Man, trailer video. This is the 30... We just took a 30-day storm. Watch storm going on! Yeah, he's like, fuck, I'm not going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up to the old wow. Did you see that shooting star or whatever it was? It couldn't have been a shooting star. It, was, it stayed on the screen right too long. Another boat or something. Yeah, another boat. It's amazing, y'all. Now they're heading right into the sun. It's, like, it's funny how they're finding their bearing like that. You can see it as it comes up. So, I'm gonna do the math real quick. So, uh, that was 720 hours of footage. 720 hours, man. That's that's 24 hours in, in 30 days. So that comes up to 720. See storms rumbling off. When you're out in the ocean, you see so far, man. Begins, it begins to ice, and now you wonder why the ancients were all on that flat earth theory. Because you just go and go. Yeah, I can see how that, on, on water, why flat earth is so yeah, appealing, but yeah. it doesn't really work that way when you're up in the sky. No, no, you, when you see... Um, Did you see the round yeah, curve? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the guy who jumped from the rocket. Yeah, you know, you he saw see, the curve. Yeah, when you see all those classic pictures from... Any, I guess. No, bro, they're like, using a fish eye. They're, they're using, using a fish eye lens, bro. Is that what they say? Yeah. They're using fish eye That's lens. why it's curved, bro. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Any problem. <laughs> Any problem. Oh, is he a flat earther? Oh, dude. He's, he's Every conspiracy theorist is Eddie Bravo. Is really? Flat yeah. Earther. I did not know that. I mean, I knew he was a conspiracy guy, and, 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 and some of them, I, I, I'm like, yeah, I see, I hear you, you know, whatever, but I didn't know he was he a flat He at least doesn't get all loony about it. Yeah. yeah. This is actually a lot longer than I thought. But yeah, it's 30 days, what do you expect? Yeah. So I wonder what the theory is then with the flat earth. How do you get to the other side? Like when you get to one end of it, how do you get to the other end so fast or around? 
weird how they say that. They don't think about that, huh? <laughs> it's amazing the stuff that people can convince themselves with. You know, it's like, uh, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Nah, he's had to have been in the place. That, that like, looks like New York I was or something. Just about to say, yeah, that, that definitely yeah. looks like New York. In, it's not the same port they just came into, is it? No, that's completely different. Yeah. You could actually see a city on this one. The last yeah, city. the other one you didn't see it right. It was off in there. You know what? I think that's Honolulu, dude. No, I don't know. <laughs> just I, really some of, I, wish some of, I know, I wish I knew too. Some of those sky rises just happen to look familiar. It's like, I kind of think that looks like, what's it called? But, I don't know that the port was this close. I think. That took them all night. Yeah, the port wasn't that close and I didn't recall. It was, but all night to do what they had to do. Huh? I can only imagine what it'd be like being... Did you see like, that one bus to Yui? No. That big old cargo tanker just you know, whooped it around. I wonder how hard it is to be a crane conductor, like a driver or whatever you want to call that. The guy that was actually pulling off yeah. those cargoes. Wouldn't it be I, badass if it was like Pacific Rim where you're like in a suit? You know? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the difficulty level is all the whole, like according to the stress factor. I'm sure because you, you it, what you can't see makes it that much harder. But uh, those things those things get you know kind of set up. I think like a car or a truck that you know how people do almost they eat they talk on the phone they text because they think driving is just so easy it's like you know uh, I don't know you're doing your almost without effort yeah I'm um, sure I kind of I kind of I say that to be initially begin with it's super you know the stress factors in that makes it difficult but once you got it down it becomes effortless you know everything starts to work for yourself just like the gas pedal the, you know steering wheel so on and so forth I could be totally wrong though it could be hard as could ever be. I'm going to cut it short. We, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Well, well epic as it is, it's, I didn't know that it was going to take up so much yeah, time. Yeah, like I said, I only watched the first couple minutes. I was like, this yeah. is bad. i got to watch, got to show this. Oh, I love fans. Oh, dude. If, 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 if I ever become rich as hell, I am, yeah. buy, I am buying one of these things. Dude. Check out this red watercraft. Vapor shark. Holy smokes. Would you not have one of those? Hell yeah, I'd have one of them. I want that one too. Wow. Looks like the P-52 Mustang from World War II. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd still have one of them. And the controllers look so damn easy. Like I was saying, you know, it's kind of how they make it. Oh, look at that. Mar make it look like a Marlin. There must be plenty of people that own one. It looks like Alaska in the background. you got, you got to have one of these. Yeah, you got to. If you're, if you're filthy rich and you got a, a bin of toys so deep and you don't have this, Oh, you know, it's just it's not cool in my book. It's just not cool. That was a little bit of a concern there. There the was water? some water coming in. I mean, I get yeah, it. You're yeah, yeah, going to be doing stuff like that. It's yeah, going to happen. But, for but sure. you figured you would kind of want to not have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, You'd be like, yeah, what? Oh, how's this guy? Or oh, is that a chick? Yeah, you better have a friend that you really trust to have a Yeah. And, and, uh, and isn't it a jerk? Because, <laughs> you know, I, you get on CDs with people. And, ah, man, I've been on CDs with people and they're freaking idiots. They want to, like, play chicken or they want to do all this dumb stuff and you're riding on the back. I'm like, man, hey, 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 let, get me on the beach and go do your dumb stuff. You don't have to do your dumb stuff with me on it, man. Right. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. So, yeah, you really got to trust someone. Here's a really neat, cool adventure. We're going to stay on land with this one, but this one's just as equally as badass. Whoa. Look at this thing chop a tree down. And bucks it all in one, huh? Yeah. Ooh, cuts it, cuts it to size. And skinned it, or whatever you want to call that. They call it bucking. Bucking. Oh, he's getting into the deep stuff. As cool as this is, man, we're running through forests. Oh yeah, when they invent something like this, they're cutting down trees at a whole another phenomenal level, man. There's one thing to have problems. You can't, you can't around. plant trees. Yeah, quick enough to do yeah, that. To, yeah, to replace that, dude. Because that tree took what 30, 40 years to grow. <sighs> They cut it down. Hundreds. And cut it down and well, that was a whole minute maybe. Yeah, that's probably what it took. So as amazing as that is, that yeah, is that definitely. is concerning as all get out. Mm -hmm. 
There. Hemp. There. Man, we gotta start using hemp, y'all. Yeah. Get into it. It's Utah for all kinds of stuff. Clothing. You can't make clothing out of this stuff. No. You know what I mean? Maybe some uncomfortable shit. Yeah. Hemp will make clothing. It'll make paper. It'll make all kinds of products. Ropes. And you cannot get high off of it. So for some reason, they're if not. You're thinking. Yeah, they're not allowing yeah. it to become uh, part of our resources because it's has a kind of a, a connection the to stigma. That. Yeah, it's just it's th- yeah, the stigma is mainly what it is. But for some and reason, it's a made up stigma. Yeah. It's all full of falsities. People are trying to make it out to the divide. Game. There you go again. More <laughs> division, folks. I see it all the time. I think, I think, I think, because people are so inundated by the net, it's all they're like in this web, the web, if you will. They're, they, 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 they don't see it. But all you gotta do is step away from it a little bit, and you see it. It's like, man, these guys are jiving you to go seventies on them. Jiving. Yeah, jiving. Juke, jive, and whale. Yeah, sounds amazing. Or sailing. If you want to be sailing, you can Pretty drive too. Pretty amazing. That's, pretty, that's basically all we got for today. Leticia! I know that nerd. Um, but yeah, man. That was all we had. We uh, we just wanted to get one in. We didn't get to get our yeah, normal one the rain, in. The rain was... Yeah. It, I, I, even getting out today, I still got stuck. Yeah. It was big time stuck. If you were looking at my pickup, you see all the mud I slung up. I bet, man. Sorry for the road. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you I had to get out of yeah, here, man. I'm glad you did. I hadn't been out since Saturday. Your supplies were probably running out. Yeah, oh, my supplies were totally out. Right, so that's it. Well, so we snuck one in. We didn't ha- We didn't really have no uh, game plan today. Normally we have a game plan. Today yeah. was absolutely no game plan. So we just winged it, and uh, hopefully it was enjoyable for y'all. It was enjoyable for us. It always is. We enjoy yeah, doing sure. this, and uh, we'll be able to crank them out. It's a human inter- interaction that you yeah. just get right off. Boom. Yeah. And I enjoy it. Humanity. Humanity. And, uh, well, anyway, y'all guys take care and uh, take care of one another. I know we yeah. all disagree, but that doesn't mean we ain't Americans. Yeah. We all are. We all got to do it for Don't each other. the last line in your address. Earth. 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 <laughs> do it for Earth, for sure. Recycle. Take care of each other. Everybody in the, everybody around the Earth. Everybody take care of each other. That's all we got to do. Anyway, I'll be good, y'all. We'll see y'all next time.